Hey guys, Frost here. Welcome back to a new episode of Rax to Riches. Today we hopped in our rogue on EU. We recently reached level 70. We ran a Kara. Or maybe two. I think we ran two Karas. We managed to get the Spite Blade, the Malkazan in the first run. And second run we had the Garona Signet Ring and the Cowl of Defiance. So um, we decided to come here to Mana Tombs and to do what bots do. Uh, if you do exclamation slash who Mana Tombs on your server, Probably it's filled with uh, level 70 rogues. They're pickpocketing, they're looting chests, they're mining, and that's what I'm going to do today here. I actually been doing it for the past four runs, and now we're about to do the fifth run and see how much gold we make per hour uh, by opening chests, mining, and casually doing pickpocketing. So in the first four runs, I noticed that a run can take anywhere from uh, six minutes to about... 20 if you wipe uh, now I did wipe twice but some runs were, we had lucky positioning on the chest and minerals we didn't had the, we didn't have to kill that many mobs and um, that's pretty lucky also I don't really pickpocket all of them it seems like pickpocketing gives the least amount of money unless you do it consistent and so on and while you're pickpocketing um, you have a chance to wipe and die now here are the three mobs and um, there's this chest here that I want to loot, the solid lavandy chest. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kill the two scavengers first, I think, and I'm going to keep the sorcerer for the last. Um, although it might be a better idea to kill the other one. Now I have a basic uh, combat spec. I didn't go subtlety or half combat, half subtlety like some people do it for this. I, I'm a simple man. I like simple things. And the way you do it, you pop your cooldowns basically and you should be able to kill them. Some mobs leave dots, so you might want to have like Cloak of Shadows available. But it's just basically pump with cooldowns. Um, and um, yeah, pretty much. Sometimes you have four mobs, so you have to use a blind as well. Uh, sap all the time on packs. We have 4k um, HP. I think we're going to try to kill him quickly. Uh, okay. Uh, always silence this one. It's naughty. Darkin missiles. and um, Or you can uh, Cloak of Shadow it. We're gonna pop a pot here. Don't worry about potions. You pickpocket them from the mobs here. So don't be too shy to use them. Now we're gonna open the first chest, uh, which uh, was a good positioning. Like the first mobs don't really are, are not really that strong. Oh, there we go. So two major super mana potion six gold and uh one level 66 item which can be disenchanted for a value more than four gold potions are as, as expensive as well that's a good chest but the good chests are the one that contain uh gems and uh probably even blues i haven't uh, gotten today a blue but uh we did get in the past okay we're gonna pick up uh big pockets a couple of more mobs here because I want to open those, because those junk boxes have a chance to drop an epic dagger. Don't know its name, but it also has a small, tiny bit of chance to drop a living ruby. Now, if you want to get a living ruby here, there are three ways you can get living uh, uh, ruby from here. You can get them either by um, pickpocketing straight up from the mobs. You can get them from the small boxes, junk boxes, or you can get them from the the chests, the, the locked or open chests. I even had runs, well, when I was playing with um, people to here, not solo. Two times in a row we got the uh, living rubies from chests. There are four types of chests. There are uh, fell iron chests and adamantite chests, but they're also like a fell iron locked chest and adamantite locked chest. It feels to me like the best one is the adamantite locked chest. So far in this run, mostly, I think we found only one of that in the past four runs. Oh. Pick pocket a couple of more mobs. Uh, I noticed that um, each time per run, if you loot two chests and pickpocket a bunch of mobs, you make like 15 gold per run. So first four runs, we made uh, 60 gold raw. I think we started at, at uh, 1420 gold in total. We didn't miss anything so far because I'm paying attention to something else. Wrong box. So um, currently we have on EU about 34,000 gold, but we were uh, 
we spent too much on this rogue. We recently got this rogue to 70. We bought the um, epic flying mount. We got exalted with Alder to get the sword, but then and we got the spite blade first uh, first run. Pretty nice. Um, and now um, we are uh, back with 10,000 gold on our uh, road to get the um, gold cap. So here seems to be an easy fight. I'm just going to straight up open on this guy. Not even going to wait um, for my other cooldowns. I am going to have ready. Uh, there we go. Hopefully we can... No, 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 no. Now this one, uh, we don't want to... No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Okay, we don't like the start. The Shadow War Pain does a lot of damage, but you already used... So we're going to try to out drink it, but probably not going to be able to because it takes for a lot. I'm not even sure how much it takes for, but it takes for a lot. We're going to pop a potion if it's required. Now we got it. We got it. Pretty good. Um, okay. It was easy so far. I haven't seen the... Um, yeah, let's pick the Ancient Lich and Sue. Pick a couple of them, but I don't really bother for the herbs unless they're uh, really like in the way. Mm -hmm. So uh, we made a mistake. We tried to pick the chest once the mobs were too close, but I'm not gonna repeat that mistake again. So here we are. That um, that vanish was good. We kind of wasted it to be honest. Um, six gold worth of a two-hander for level 64 scroll of stamina and another six gold raw silver so this is the best thing here like you get the chests and you also get the um, the, the raw gold from the chest it's 12 gold each run no matter what it's um 12 times 5 Right. My math is bad. 60 gold, right? 12 times 5. Oh, there we go. The rich adamantite deposit. So even if you loot only the gold from the chest, <laughs> two chests per dungeon, that means it's 60 gold every five runs, right? Yeah, my math is bad. But this is a rich adamantite deposit, and we're hoping to get uh, some gems out of it. If not, the stack of adamantite currently goes for 34 gold. It's pretty good. We got two stacks and a half. No, two stacks and um, five ores so far. But I think we might have another one. I don't remember if we mined one so far. But we might have another one towards the end. And there are three more uh, potential spawn points in the last room. Uh, one is hard to pick. Two really easy and one hard to pick. I hope it's the easy one to pick. But at the same time, maybe it's better if it's a hard one. Because... Um, I can show you how to pick it. Okay, it's the hard one. There's an easy one here. You can win one there. But this is the hard one. And it's a reach. We got two reach adamantine deposits in this run. What so this? hopefully we're going to be able to you. show you how to do it. Oh my god. Okay. Right well, this is one of the hardest uh, things to pull here. If you manage to do this, uh, you're you're great. So, uh, the thing that we're going to do here, we're going to wait for the patrol to move around, like it does right now. And then we're going to go and try to distract it. Mm. Okay, we distracted it. Now we want to sap this guy behind here. We can, of course. And then, we're going to open with blind on that guy. Then we're going to wait for this, but we're going to try to kill them both quickly. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, we just realized that we don't have. Oh, my God. We don't have um, vanish. Oh, you got to have vanish for this. Oh, my God. Boy, are you doing this to me? Ugh. If I can't get too much that way, because I'm gonna die. Oh, we got him. No way. 
Wait, what? And what do we do with this guy now? I can loot this thing here. Anyway, I can get some perspective here. Now we gotta run back. So we gotta run back. I'm gonna cut this out and we're gonna come loot this one. But basically, after you kill those three mobs, you vanish. That's the the thing. Or after you kill the first two, you vanish. I had my vanish on cooldown. Feels bad. So here we are. We managed to make it back to the rich diamond deposit. Now, uh, you only have to... This is a four uh, mob pack, but you only have to clear three of them. Once you vanish, that one will uh, not aggro if you pick the deposit here. Might want to step a bit back just to be sure. See a bit more. Okay. Seems like we're okay. There we go. And we finished five runs. We're gonna open the strong jump boxes too. Maybe we get some living ruby or something. And there we have it. Let's see if we have any locked ones. We do have. You get about, uh, depends how many you loot. I've seen eight per run to be like the normal. But I didn't uh, loot all the mobs. So that's also a thing. The, the grind is going to be better uh, with phase two. Because you mostly farm those greens for the enchanting value of them. Enchanting materials. And the enchanting materials will go up in price. Uh, we got so far like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, 11 greens in 5 runs, 3 gems, which their value might go up with the next phase, phase 2.5 um, Adamantite Ore Packs, 4 Primal Earths, and now let's see what we get from the Junk Boxes. Seems uh, like a lot of uh, raw po materials for making poisons, uh, flash powder, maiden's anguish, a couple of um, healing potions, but there's a small chance that you get an epic dagger or a living ruby. Um, they have a lot of silver as well in them. Honestly, if you ask me, not even close to being rewarding. I opened so far like a hundred of them, uh, got pretty much uh, nothing. Those are like... Uh, silver values there so uh let's try to do the math here and um, a total of um about 80 gold we made raw silver in five runs 80 plus we have a uh, 70 with uh, 80 gold for the adamantite ore plus we're not gonna put the the gems the uncut gems because you don't get them every run this is lucky so we're going to put um, four primal earths, which are 12 gold. Plus, um, let's put the value of the vendor for those items, although we can get more from them. So here we have uh, 11 gold, 12 gold, 13 gold, 20 gold, 22 gold, 25, 27, 33. 35, 36 gold, plus 36 gold, plus a stack of ancient lichen. It's not really that important. A stack of cloth, let's say, plus 3 gold. And that's about it. Except the, well, the scrolls. Scrolls sell as well. Scroll of strength, scroll of agility. Um, sometimes I can sell them for the agility ones for 10 gold. I haven't got any. I got only 2 strength ones, so plus 6 gold. Uh, 220 gold this is for uh one hour uh, five runs uh one, one run was six minutes but then I, I had to run with 20 minutes where i wiped twice but overall it will add up once you learn the path it should be two hours uh one hour per five runs 217 gold it's not that bad plus if you get gems if you get lucky you can get it up to 300 thank you very much for watching guys until next time stay frosty <laughs>